Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Zach Bandicoot here with a uh, not so much reactionary video, but a commentary. Thought I'd try my hand in this. Uh, Nintendo actually released a uh, Nintendo Direct Mini. So it's like a little mini Direct. Uh, it's about like almost 29 minutes long, almost about a half hour, but thought I, I thought I'd try you know, a little commentary. I thought it'd be fun. And I finally got some Nintendo news. Um, hopefully they reveal the next character for Smash or something, I'm hoping. Uh, I know about one reveal, uh, cause, uh, that was one spoiler I got cause it came out like, I think sometime yesterday. I just found out about it when I got home from work late last night and, uh, and I did a bunch of test videos. So I know the beginning part of this, but anyway, you know, hope everyone's staying safe, you know, with the whole situation going on, but, um, uh, you know, I'll thank you for entertained with, uh, with this at least. And, uh, well, without any further ado, he's, uh, Nintendo Direct. Uh, let's get this started. There. Long ago, two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. Bionis Maconis? The titans <laughs> were locked in a timeless battle. This battle, so timeless. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Hmm. Clash of the Titans? Nah, I'm kidding. Zero Way Chronicles Definitive Edition. <laughs> so yeah, I know this came out on the Wii, um, huh? and then they had in one the on the, then they had one on the 3DS. Looks like no they're way. releasing in the Switch. Macon. Yeah, there's Shulk. I only know Shulk from Smash Brothers. <laughs> The Monado. Hmm. It's the only sword that's Monado. effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just unlock the Monado's I'm actually interested in giving this a try. Shulk, no! I might It'll kill you. be a fun stream. Shulk. There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. Yeah, I know that's his power, seeing into the future. This, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so Monado. it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting for you. Monado, Monado. that sounds like an Italian dish. <laughs> the future I see, it isn't set. Malia. So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. This game's from Japan, and everybody has British accents. It's not over. Okay. The people of Bionis will never let you. Unless uh, this game takes place like uh, in like the Britain area. Hmm. Five twenty-nine. I'll be thirty years old by the time the co this comes out this month. That month. Hmm. Sorry, what was that? Was that a, was that a tease for If the for capital another? is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Hmm. Is that the Eye of Zaron? Lord of the Rings? <laughs> the ultimate hmm. version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo right. Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. And a new epilogue, a new story, Future Connected will cap off the main game. So if you've played and loved oh, the original game, so you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Oh, so it's like an extension of the game. Okay. We'll probably be needing this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th. You know, I'm actually kind of interested. Just the game starting yeah, uh, today. Yeah, it was also, just... coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. 
Yeah, I won't be getting that though. <laughs> I won't be getting that version. Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. <laughs> now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Bioshock? It Borderlands on Nintendo Switch? Wow. Wonder how the system's gonna handle it. You know, I have Bioshock on the Xbox, but I, I'd be almost tempted to get it just to play it portable on the Switch. I I mean, the older ones, yeah. Infinite, I'm a bit iffy about how that will function. Borderlands Legendary Collection. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, and, that, and that's, I, I think this is excellent. This is some great third party support for uh, Nintendo. And uh, yeah, I mean, especially in games like this. Oh yeah, XCOM. Yeah, that's a popular uh, like kind of RTS game. Okay. So uh, I'm really glad to see Nintendo getting some great third-party support. I'm not sure if um, I'm not sure if I'm getting all those. Uh, I Old might get Bioshock. Space off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3: The Black Order Expansion Pass. Ah, expansion you pass so for heroes. Ultimate Alliance 3. I might pick that up sometime. <laughs> you are no match for Doom's power. Oh, Doctor Doom. Richards. It's clobbering time! Clobbering time! Ha <laughs> oh, I love the th I love the thing. We're not going down without a fight. Nice, fantastic we four. The universe to save. Marvel bought Fox, so I'm still waiting for that well, Fantastic Four reboot to come out. Rules. Come on, Marvel. Come on, Disney, I guess, now that owns it. Let's go. Shadow. Shadow of Doom. <laughs> you know, I'll probably wait until, like, in the future where it's all bundled together for a regular price game with all the DLC content. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. Hmm. You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. A global winter? In this winter. deep sea exploration <laughs> game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. <laughs> As you explore increasingly hostile that's environments, interesting. you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's time attack mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there. So why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? This looks interesting. It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Still waiting for news to excite me. Live your best deserted island life thanks to this oh. free update. Free update for Animal Crossing. Enjoying See. island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Yes, well, I am. Whether you're already living it up on the island, or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Ugh! That thing's nightmare feel. Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. 
the but a great way to celebrate Easter a year. without this being able to go anywhere for a lot of people. April 12th. <laughs> so be sure to participate. Sorry, gonna resist. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on Earth updates Day and via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account <laughs> and other channels too. So stay tuned. We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed Animal Crossing. It's fun. Hey, look, someone's hiring. Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items. Okay. Mop the floor and maintain a comfortable work environment. They're trusting you with crane operation <laughs> and other tough tasks. <laughs> Uh-oh, that projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Oh yeah, yeah that kind of stuff happens all the time in my man. job. You know, or stuff explodes, creative uh, solutions. Gets Do wrecked, uh, walls get break, done. and yeah, no, that's everyday task. Yeah, uh, totally. That was all the time. <laughs> Hopefully, you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately, because good job launches today. Good job. <laughs> actually, that actually does kind of look fun. Catherine, full body, the mature. Oh boy. Oh. Switch. Uh, Contemplating uh, the next step in his relationship, uh, commitment phobic Vincent finds game, himself pulled into game. the allure of a new love. <laughs> Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with oh Catherine, boy. Catherine with a C, and yeah. Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. I don't think I can ever bring myself to play this. I'd be way too ashamed. Day. He's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night. I think I'd rather live stream myself watching actual pornography than climb this live streaming this game. See I, another day. Real, I don't Find know. Out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, uh, and intoxicating story. <laughs> Catherine's coming when to Catherine the full death. body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. <laughs> A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit of a surprise there. Um, Mix things up with the new what? rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Ah, uh, I see. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2. I see. And the like Legend a workout Zelda, while Breath dancing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a way, really <clears throat> nice way to really take advantage of a lot of people not of able that. to leave their homes. <laughs> and with the gyms closed down. I feel my power returning. Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Move. Abgard. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be Ring available fit. today. <laughs> okay. Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG approaches. Now, back to an actual video Since game. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Actually, I never heard of the first one. 
Though I mean, those those the, that that style of games usually not Super my thing. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate News approaches. Okay, here we go. The fighter included in Wave I'm 6 on. of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC <gasps> will be. Joining the battle from what? This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. The next fighter will be announced and released this June. Well, which fighter from ARMS? <laughs> I mean, that's cool, but... Don't miss this ARMS game trial. A free game trial of ARMS will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. I mean, don't get me wrong, ARMS These is fun. I really enjoy that combat. on the Switch, Dead but I mean, arms. just... So they already have an assist trophy of a guy from ARMS. Combinations. I just way to promote the game. The game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Uh, all right, you know what? They have six characters. It's one throw away from Feeling this pack. Good? Hopefully the other five well, all right. actually mean then anything. Nice and actually from games we want to really see. Default like, I'm hoping for Scorpion, Mortal Kombat, or Crash Bandicoot, you know? I... Okay, so Where? someone from ARMS. All Where right, kind of cool. I, I mean, I, I, I love ARMS. I, I think it's really fun, but just... I feel it's a waste of space for a DLC character, but yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. All right, disappointing, but what's whatever. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The great stone's power exceeds the hand of man. And if unleashed, and the avatar the that can death, wield all of them when the world needed him the most, and he vanished. The land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. <laughs> this is the crystal's blessing. Who swear the details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, Treasure RPG, then I've done the right thing. Oh, bravely default. Yeah, I, I know about that. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins yeah. when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the yeah. shores of one such yeah, kingdom. Yeah, first one was popular, so yeah. well, I guess this is exciting for some fans of the game. Here, I mean, he I, meets I never Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced mm. to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers. I'm very disappointed by that Smash Brothers ultimate news. So, book. like, I'm Elvis and Adele. I'm just so disinterested in the rest of this uh, direct, but we're not friends or anything. But you know what? I said I commentate in the whole thing. I'll push through. <laughs> As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled <sighs> with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black Ooh. mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. The visuals look nice in this. I <laughs> shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the For those who enjoy these kind of strategy battle, RPG games, this, de to use brave this points, definitely looks fun. BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the brave and default commands. Choose brave hmm. to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Yeah, not for me. Too much to think about. <laughs> Choose default to order a character to guard. I prefer games in the with your reflexes rather than strategizing. <laughs> Strategically hold back. Or Except Pokemon, but Pokemon doesn't turn. count. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Hmm. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. Now for a little announcement. 
a demo version of the game will launch today. And in the near future, we'll huh. conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. You know what? We hope you'll participate. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna check out this demo. I definitely will. The latest entry yeah. in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Yeah, Bravely Default came out a while ago on... Oh, was it the DS? Hope you're having DS? fun. Let's keep this good news train a I, I can't remember. I think it was the 3DS. Uh, don't call me on that. from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Presenting every single game huh? included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. <laughs> Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Heron Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, okay. Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris. So is it required you have this uh, War, handheld mode Karen, to play with Chinese other person? Checkers, yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Bowling. Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew, that really is 51 games. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported oh, okay. too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content yeah, th against rivals the fun. world over. It's interesting. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics yeah. launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th, pre purchase begins today. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so you're cringe. The well, then, prove <laughs> I'm sorry. It in battle. As one of eight players, uh, you must earn the most points to win a reference, uh, Sprint. Way to reference a classic Vegas. song. Way back, I'd say, 90s. <laughs> like only you can. We stand up. <laughs> but yeah, Ninja Gum. Kind of cringe you can dash there. At high speeds. <laughs> Disguise yourself. And wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals. From heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo yo's. <sighs> Your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and yo yo's. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four on four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too. Free to play. Check out what you pay can play on Nintendo win. Switch. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Huh. Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. And get ready okay. to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. All these reports, yeah. In this remade dragon riding classic, you'll pilot the blue dragon through incredible landscapes, battling giant creatures and lethal battleships, using 360 oh, degree this control. This is interesting. And this targeting. was, I, I if I, this is what I'm thinking of. The, the name tower escapes or me. Die um, trying. When Panzer Dragoon remake launches Dragoon. first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. That was for the Dreamcast back then. And that was really hard to get your hands on for years. To like a Switch. copy of that in the Dreamcast could go for like tons of money. Wow, that's that's actually kind of interesting. Okay. Lot of strategy RPGs, but a rhythm game. Alright. Other scrolls blades. Huh. 
As you can tell, I'm just... Nothing really excited me here. Hmm. Oh, St. Charles. Most of the games I've never heard of. Oh yeah, that was a game on the DS. Minecraft Dungeons, huh? <laughs> well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. Please be something somewhat exciting. Now for the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and oh, Pokemon yeah. Shield Expansion Pass. I gotta stream Pokemon uh, soon. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Ooh. games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be hmm. accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about part one, the Isle of Armor. All right. On the Isle of Armor Isle lies of Armor. a dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon, Kubfu, from the Master Kubfu. Mustard. Through your training with Kubfu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness, or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Kubfu must face this challenge Ooh, decisions. alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Kubfu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike style. Dark or Water, the choice is yours and yours alone. Huh. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure. Finally, a Gigantamax form. So, Good. let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, <laughs> it's G Max nice. Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G Max Fireball. Ooh. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 <laughs> feet up, it's G Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. Wow. Oh yeah, they showed a Mimikyu there. In Mimikyu has the ability items and to be able to, there will to not take any damage card backgrounds, effects, and for the first hit, now like no matter what. More and it looks like Endor's ability, that, that's really cool. Yeah, that Pokemon I don't care about. Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. End of June. For also, right. for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Ooh. Sword. Okay. And Garboder and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Charizard? Ooh. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. All right. All right, I guess I'll end it there. Um, well, what can I say? Uh, overall, pretty disappointed. I mean, I'm glad I got more information about the Pokemon Sword Shield expansion pass coming out. Uh, so that looks fun, but uh, of course, a lot of people are upset that they made kind of a, how do I say, Pokemon very lacking in content. 
this one, arguably, understandably so, and then selling you more content later. <laughs> I'll probably just pick it up anyway. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Smash Brothers, yeah. A character from ARMS. I mean, I was hoping for an ARMS person to make it in. But, I mean, from the start, you know, being the game already once it launches. That's when I would have wanted someone from ARMS. To pretty much, basically, uh, I always say waste a slot in the upcoming DLC characters. <sighs> okay. Well, I've already paid for it, so let's say I'm getting a character from ARMS, which, again, like like I said, it's a mix of emotions. I'm glad to have someone from ARMS, but I would have rather they just included someone from ARMS, like, from the start. Uh, not be a DLC character. Like, I want to see characters people, like, r are really asking for. Though, the creator of Smash Brothers said, I don't expect to see your requested characters, so... Crash Bandicoot... Oh, I hope so, I'm... Staying hopeful, but probably not. You know, maybe Scorpion from Mortal Kombat would be awesome, but again, I doubt it, so. Well, eh, well, this has been my commentary on uh, Nintendo's uh, Mini Direct. Um, if they're any longer than this, then I might do it in pieces or only react to maybe certain segments of it. But um, anyway, uh, you know, forward to more uh, videos, um, forward to more streams as a... Um, cat videos of those who follow me of uh, scotty <laughs> okay well everyone this has been zach bandicoot and next time whoa thanks for watching